Welcome back to Yellow Jacket Life. I'm Caroline. And I'm Braxton. Before we get started with this week's episode, we want to share some news and information. Students, there's a limited supply of yearbooks left, so make sure you get one before they run out. Juniors and seniors, check your school email to fill out a Google form sent by Ms. Parrish to submit prom playlist suggestions. Today is the last day to fill it out. Beta kids, send in pictures to the RCHS yearbook Instagram from BetaCon or other events to be featured in the yearbook. If you have news and information about your club or group that you would like for us to announce, please email the information to Mr. McDaniel as soon as possible. First, Lucas asked Mr. Kroger for advice. I'm here with Mr. Kroger and I'm asking what advice would you give to a high schooler? Oh man, um, first thing I would tell you, these are not the best uh, years of your life. People are going to tell you that. Your best years are way ahead of you. Okay. Um, second thing I would say, you got to do something. You got to work in a field that you have a passion for. All right. Listen to your parents for a lot of things they tell you. If they tell you, here's what I want you to do. Here's where you need to work. Don't listen to that. You do what you want to do. Um, third thing, real quick. Every high schooler should have a part-time job. I firmly believe that. Um, it's gonna make you appreciate money more. Time management just makes you a more gritty, tough-nosed kid. This week on Leadership, Briley talks with senior cheerleader Kaylee Roberts. Welcome to another segment of Leadership here on Yellow Jacket Life. I'm Briley Krause here with senior cheerleader Kaylee Roberts. So Kaylee, what are some qualities that you think make a good leader and do you have anyone in your life that has those qualities? I think a good leader consists of somebody that's outgoing that because you can't be shy and like lead people. You have to be like positive, outgoing, and you have to have like some sort of like trustworthiness because people aren't going to trust you to lead them if you don't have that qualities. And um, I would say Miss Money probably has those qualities. She's my cheer coach for like one year during like the COVID time. So um, she always was positive. She always brought us up. We could trust her with anything. So I really do look up to her like a leader. How do you feel you've made an impact on the cheer team? I feel like I always just bring positivity. Like I said, like being a leader um, at cheer camp, it was hard on everybody. And I just had to have that push. Like somebody was just like, it's okay. Like we're gonna, we're, we'll make it, everything's okay. <laughs> like I was kind of having that push on people because like everybody needs that person. And I just. I enjoy it. So. And what is some advice that you would give to someone younger wanting to be a leader? Um, just be yourself because you can't make yourself be a leader. Like you just have to be you because nobody's going to want somebody that's fake. You just have to be yourself and then everybody will just come to you and it's natural. Thank you, Kaylee. And we'll be back next time with some more leaders here at RCHS. Next, Brayden asks Mr. Artisan 13 random questions. asking Mr. Artisan 13 questions. Where did you grow up? Uh, well, I grew up here. I was born in Western Massachusetts, but I moved here when I was eight. I've lived here ever since. What's one word to describe you? Super fabulous, which is one word. Right. Who do you look up to? Um, mostly my father. All right. What college did you attend? Um, I got my undergrad from University of Tennessee and uh, University of Wales, Swansea, and then I got my master's degree from University of Tennessee, Go Vols. Yes, sir. What was it like in Wales? Like, what does it compare to, to Kingston or Loudoun, wherever you live? Well, it's considerably different being another country. Um, it was a much more urban environment, and um, it was, you know, it was a college town, but it's a British industrial city at the same time. Very different from East Tennessee. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, what's one thing you would tell your younger self? Uh, to shut up. To shut up. Yeah, uh, talk less, listen more. If you could do one thing, like a bucket list thing, what's that one thing? Oh, um, I want to go to Japan, Korea, and Australia. Um, and if possible, um, I'd like to take at least one good nine iron swing on the moon. What uh, was your favorite show to watch as a kid? As a kid? Yeah. Oh, uh, Saturday morning cartoons and, uh, uh, yeah, Saturday morning cartoons. For sure. Favorite celebrity growing up? Favorite celebrity growing up? I hate famous people. I don't blame you. If you could eat at one restaurant for the rest of your life, where would it be? Uh, I 
have no idea. It would, uh, all right, for, so first of all, something nice. Um, so I'm thinking maybe bonefish or um, something that like uh, specializes in really well-cooked steaks and fillets. You more of a steak guy? I am. You like brisket? I do. I love brisket. <laughs> if you could change your name, what would you change it to? Uh, uh, I would change it to um, Ainsley Spine Crusher. <laughs> All right. What is one book or movie everyone should read or watch in their life? Uh, Kurt Vonnegut's Slaughterhouse Five. So I'd like to hear. What is one piece of advice you would like to give to the audience? <laughs> Talk less, listen more. That's good advice. Thank you, Mr. Artson. No problem, man. Awesome. Maris and Macy Neal bring us all things sports on RCHS Sports Center. I'm Maris. And I'm Macy. Welcome to RCHS Sports Center. We're here to provide you with the most recent sports news at your very own Roan County High School. Last week, our girls traveled to Megs for a semifinal district play. They were not able to come out with a win against the Lady Tigers, sending them into a consolation game. The final score was 44 to 49. Also, last Friday, the boys hosted a semifinal district game at home against Loudoun. They came out with a big win, sending them into the district championship game. The final score was 68 to 62. The girls played Monday against Teleco at home in a consolation game, winning big on the night with the final being 64 to 44. This put the Lady Jackets third in the district with an automatic region game against Tyner Academy. Tuesday, the boys' team hosted Sweetwater in the district championship, losing the battle to the Wildcats with the score being 55-65. to This titles the Jackets as second in the district, bringing them to a region game against Chattanooga Arts and Sciences. Now we are flipping over to this week's top five plays. Shelby hosts an intense game of charades. I'm Shelby Hatfield and today we're going to be playing charades. I have two teams of three. The first team to get to guess correctly twice will win the game. And our first contestant is Kaylee Roberts. This is what you'd be asking, acting out. Okay. Song. Song. <laughs> two. 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 Baby. Two rocks. Two rocks. Two. What? Born. Cap. Head. Head. Rock, rock and roll. roll. Rock and roll. Born no. to rock and roll. Born. No, no, Guitar. no. It's head. I don't know. Rock. 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 A head. Hair. Rock about baby. Head. Hair. Top. Hair. Scalp. Top. Rock top. Rocky top. Oh. Hey. 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 I'm too good. Okay, and our next contestant is Javar Scalahar. This is what he will be acting out. Got it. A movie. 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 Bird. Eagle. Bird. Up. Flying. Flying, Flying eagle. Talk. Birdman. Smile. Smile. Vampire. Teeth. Hotel vampire. Transylvania. Vampire Diaries. Vampire Diaries. No. Flying Vampire. Flying. Ba Batman. Yeah. 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 So our next contestant is Mason Martin. This is what you'll be acting out. Okay. A book. Four. 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 Running for cheese. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Two. Two words? Mickey and Minnie. Look at me. Look at me, too. Look at, Look at, us. Look at us. Two. No, no, no. Oh, no. Wait, hey, wait. what is this? No. Wait. Look at all of us. <laughs> You're looking at Malachi. Look at You're looking at Malachi. This is not fair. <laughs> One. A rat kills its... A rat kills its partner? 
Rat and mouse. Is it when the lion kills the mouse? <laughs> the lion's in a rat. Tom, oh, and Tom, Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. Dang, Tom and Jerry. Ah. Mouse. Tom and Jerry. Mouse. It's a mouse? Mouse. A mouse? No, running. no, you can't. No. Master Man. Right. Master Man. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, you got it. And for the winners of the charade game is Ava, Malachi, and Barrett. We'll have more games planned in the future. Mary Sneals back again with another mixtape. up this week's episode of Yellow Jacket Life. Thanks for watching. I'm Caroline. I'm Braxton and we'll see you next week.